Here's 343's response about the recent store prices in Halo Infinite. And in response to Accelerate, who's a popular streamer here on Twitch, saying Halo Infinite shop prices for Season 5 have been very disappointing, and even more so that they went back and increased old bundles. I've spent very little this season in comparison to Seasons 1 through 4. Even as a frequent spender, lots of stuff simply isn't worth the price. A lot of discussion around the transgressor core slash kit that recently came into the store were 2,200 credits by itself. But here's what Accelerate was talking about, about previous store bundles price going up. Beggy FTJ recently showed on Twitter here how this bundle here of the Leguza, if I pronounce that correctly, bundle, saying it was on sale for 1,200 credits, 20% off. But when you actually look back on August 2nd, 2022, that's the price of what the bundle was in the first place. It's not really seeming like an actual sale. I get how a lot of people are upset about having to pay for armor customization within Halo Infinite, but one thing you don't have to pay for is subscribing to the channel here, which apparently 77% of you guys who watch the channel are not subscribed. So if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo and gaming, well, you know what to do then. How's that for a segue? And this is what the community director of 343 Sketch recently said to address a lot of these issues, saying shop prices on many offers have changed in conjunction with multi-core functionality being added to customization content. With season four, we saw new shop offers reflect a new pricing model to account for new codings being multi-core enabled. With season five, many previously released coatings and all helmets in the game were updated to work on all cores and those shop offers were adjusted to reflect these changes and to have parity with season 4 offers. At the same time the team went ahead and made proactive adjustments to offers that include shoulders since they will be multi-core enabled in a future update. It was a trade-off to try and front load some of that work now versus just having having a constant churn of shop pricing changes along the way. While many season one through four offers have been adjusted, I want to be transparent that as more multi-core codings come to bear, there are going to be more past offers that weren't included with the initial season five adjustments that will see updates in the future. As a reminder, everyone who already owns these helmets, coatings, and shoulders will automatically receive multi-core functionality on eligible items as the changes go live in game. In the case where some offers are being displayed as a sale, despite being the same price or even more than before, this is due to the underlying base price of the offer being increased. The current sale price is lower than the new normal price, but without that context. We can certainly see how it led to confusion, perception of it being a bug or error, etc. I understand this isn't necessarily what everyone wants to hear, but I hope this at least helps explain what did change and why. So effectively saying that they had to kind of bump the prices up a bit because, well, I'm assuming just because of rapid inflation that happened recently within the entire world and with the microtransactions effectively being the only source of income that keeps Halo Infinite afloat because I don't really expect many people to be buying into the campaign anytime soon. I'm sure prices just had to be adjusted. This also kind Kind of makes sense in a way as we do have plenty of customization within Halo Infinite right now that is only single core and it would make sense to have those items be a lesser value than what the newer cross core content is. I appreciate Sketch going online communicating with the community about the price differences and changes with that. It's not going to be an easy thing to talk about. Talking about the store within Halo in general it's never going to be easy because this is the first free to play Halo. Wherever game previously you were able to unlock everything by just playing the game. So there always is going to be this discussion about what should be available for the unlock, what should be in the store and etc. This is something that Jerry Hook brought up way back, I think believe back in season two's launch, talking about how there's always going to be this issue as Halo previously was just like an entire box set. You buy the game, you unlock the items and then you go. But Halo Infinite's not like that. It's a live service game. It's a free to play game. Money needs to be made somehow. Well, I as well don't like the idea of prices being increased when it comes to shop items, but 
I also understand it. Honestly, I think 343 just needs to do a better job of making these bundles have more value to them. Let's look at this transgressor bundle and really see if it's worth the 2,200 credits as in AKA $22 for this one bundle. You click on it, you get one coating, which kind of gives you like the flood cover effect on your regular color armor set. The coloring isn't really that interesting. Like, yeah, the texture is kind of cool on it, but that's about it really. And then you get the kit for the George infected flood form, which does look awesome. Don't get me wrong. This definitely stands out and definitely looks like something like you paid money in the shop and stuff like that. But the thing is, it's only this kit right here and only this coating. I don't feel like, like that's worth $22 to me. Where for the same price when it comes to credits for this bundle right here, you get an entire armor set, which looks unique and pretty awesome. Like you won't really be able to find anything out like this. You can earn in game or in the battle pass. You do get a weapon cover model on it as well, which is really cool. You get an armor effect on top of that. Like this bundle actually would say, if you're gonna drop 2,200 credits in this game, this bundle actually might be kind of good. I wish this coating was a little more flashy. You know, I think that's a big thing with a lot of these coatings within Halo Infinite is that a lot of them are just kind of just colorations. They're not really anything that really stands out or looks really unique. Like if someone showed me this, I'm like, oh, is that that gray and red cadet coating you got? Like, no, I paid for this in the shop. I'm like, I kind of would be surprised that you would spend money on that. You know what I mean? I wish you were able to buy individual items so badly in this game. There's so many individual items I think would just be so cool. Like for example, right here, like we can with this shoulder pads there with this wolf shoulder pad, like this looks awesome. This looks like something that's unique to Halo that you would never experience anywhere else. And that's why I went ahead and bought these and I thought they looked freaking cool. But why can't I just buy like this old, like Halo 3 styled sniper rifle? Like I would absolutely love this. This would be so cool, but you tie it to a 2000 credit bundle, which again, like not too shabby of an option here when it comes to customization and what's offered in here. But it's just nothing really that would get me to want to spend more money in Halo. But when you think about it, the price is actually rather comparable to other games out there that have stores and free-to-play models. For comparison, let's check out Modern Warfare 2's store. For 2,400 COD points, that's roughly $24 within this game, you can get the Dune Starter Pack here. What do you get? You get an operator, which definitely stands out amongst your standard operators you get from just playing the game. You do get two weapons as well, which definitely as well also stand out compared to your normal weapon setups right here. They also have their own kind of setups, but they are definitely looking more interesting, more unique than anything else. It also looks like you get a melee weapon. You also get a assassination, which looks really awesome. Weapon charm, emblems, and all that good stuff. What about this Inaris bundle? That's a collaboration with Diablo 4 for 2,400 COD points as well. You do get this operator, which obviously looks unique and super cool. If you're a Diablo fan, you'd absolutely love this. You also get a really cool looking weapon that you can only get within the store as well. It has some really cool tracer effects tied to it. So when you're shooting, you see this cool like light up effect that happens. A really unique assassination, a, a helicopter skin and stuff like that. So a lot of really interesting things that really stand out that make it go like, okay, this is something that's totally different than what you can get in the battle pass. Something that's completely different that you can get within and just earning stuff from playing the game. That's why people are willing to buy things like this. Like you can get Skeletor within Call of Duty. That's crazy. That's a little more interesting to me than like a different type of helmet. By the way, Skeletor bundle, 2,800 credits. That's $28. And I've never seen a Halo bundle be worth $28. That's where I feel like the whole shop item idea with Halo Infinite is really falling short. There really isn't anything that goes, wow, I need to pick this up. A lot of it is just, hey, that's pretty cool looking. I guess I'll spend the money. I think for like crazy customization, I think that's kind of what the idea was for the Fracture Course, just that a lot of the stuff that they made for that Fracture Course, while some of it does look awesome, it doesn't really bring as much attention as saying bring pulling into that nostalgia of like the Mark V Reach set or even the Mark VII set. Or have some weapon coatings that are reactive or light up or have some kind of animations to them, something a little more lively than just plain colors and prints. Because a lot of stuff you can find in the shop right here with like the flood themed characters, you do have this bandit rifle, which does look awesome. I wish I would just be able to buy this individually, not drop 1,200 credits on it, but 
you know we already talked about that in a previous video but a lot of the stuff here that you can get within the shop you can also experience this within the battle pass right here and you get for ten dollars you get an entire 50 tier worth of content so that's a lot of bang for your buck i would say that the flood customization and shop items are a step in the right direction to get some more flashy more exciting things within the store to make it feel like it's worth the money that you're spending but 343 still has a lot of work and some new ideas that need to try out when it comes to the shop items because right now the shop while some of it does look awesome a lot of it doesn't really interest me